Apple announced the latest MacBook Air in November 2020, complete with an M1 chip that made it so far ahead of its time, most people could buy it and be happy. I mean, even I did while managing video editing in 4K, graphic design, and animation. I was sure that this was the computer for just about everybody, but then Apple announced the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips. For once, a thicker, more level computer than the last, rather than the classic wedge design. Rumors are now floating around that the MacBook Air is due for a new upgrade this year, and I'm taking you through everything that's new about the upcoming 2022 MacBook Air. Use the chapters below to jump to a specific section of the video, and let's get started. Now, I've always been a fan of the wedge design. However, since buying the M1 Pro, I've come to remember the security in a more stable computer rather than one that feels like it could just snap in half at any moment. And if you're with me on that one, then you're gonna be happy about this because this is what the new MacBook Air is said to look like. Said to be both thinner and lighter, but all around a more balanced look rather than the wedge. And also paying tribute to lighter, more vibrant colors like the M1 iMac. Featuring white bezels and a notch, it's sort of a mix between the latest MacBook Pro and the iMac. It's clear this won't be your average MacBook Air, with no resemblance to the current lineup. In fact, Mac rumors noted recently saying it's possible Apple will drop Air from the name altogether, returning to simply the name MacBook. Similar to the unusual white bezels, the whole computer is said to be lighter with a matching off-white keyboard and a light aluminum body. In terms of ports, they haven't been confirmed yet, but if the renderings are right, we could still see two USB-Cs, a headphone jack, and a MagSafe port for charging. Listen, I'm all for bold design choices, but if we've learned anything from the M1 iMac launch, if the renderings are true, people are gonna be pretty angry. What I'm hoping for is this mix of options this time. Sure, include the color models that are lighter and let them have the white bezel screen so that it matches, but also offer that space gray option that includes the black bezels for the rest of us. It's either that or commit to making everything in the Apple ecosystem white until people just get used to it and give in. Apple is also said to be bringing a more vibrant mini LED display to the MacBook Air lineup, which just makes sense given the attention to the screen upgrades on the iPhone, the iPad, and the iMac lineup. Now, whether it'll be 120 Hertz ProMotion or not, we'll have to wait and see. Either way, the new MacBook Air will be the largest redesign to the Air lineup since the 2010 11 and 13 inch models were introduced. So obviously we talk a lot about what's included in these new releases, but what will be missing in these upcoming new MacBook Airs? Well, for starters, they're said to omit the SD card slot. And Apple has even said before that these types of ports are for pro users, so I wouldn't expect them to be bringing back a bunch of ports like they did on the previous pro lineup. That also includes the lack of HDMI ports two changes that basically set it apart from the base MacBook Pro model. It's worth noting that with USB-C, you can still accomplish these things, just needing an adapter of some kind, which you could easily pick up on Amazon. In terms of performance, the new MacBook Air isn't said to adopt the M1, M1 Pro, or M1 Max chips, but instead will feature a new M2 chip that Apple is working on right now. This will be the successor to the M1 chips and will focus on bringing faster speeds to the MacBook Air while including the same number of cores on the existing lineup. I'm hoping that the M2 allows for more external displays as M1 is limited to only one. Pricing is yet to be determined with this one, but it's safe to assume that the new MacBook, including a similar number of ports, screen size, and a focus on performance improvements, would likely stay around the same price point that it currently is around $999. Because this new MacBook will include the M2 chip, which is currently in development, Sources say it's not likely to launch at the upcoming March 8th event. Instead, rumors point to an Apple event planned for September or October to announce the next wave of MacBooks running the M2 chip. So that's everything we know as of yet for the new MacBook Air. After what felt like years of neglect, Apple seems to be bringing a lot more focus to the Mac lineup, and with it, we have constant rumors and leaks. So if you wanna be updated on all the latest leaks, now is a great time to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this from me. While you're down there, remember to hit the like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck. And lastly, let me know in the comments which of these features are you most excited about and which one would actually make you upgrade to the new Air from your current Air or your current Pro. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.